All right, um, a standard video from me, as in, it's completely off the cuff. There are no <laughs> pre-sorted um, things that I'm going to say. I'll just give you my thoughts. So, uh, this was the Komodo. You know, um, if you've watched my videos, that, yeah, the clutch stopped working. So, this just drops all the time, like, let's see, if I hold it there. There you go. And that's it on max friction. And I sent him an email and he ignored me. He did actually reply and then I emailed him back and he ignored me again. So anyway, I give up. It's gone. Um, of course, at the price they charge now, you'd be absolutely crazy to buy one. All right. And I replaced it with the Verpal one. Now, don't laugh because it's still on the plank of wood. The plank of wood has just worked well all this time. And um, so, yes. Uh, construction wise it is uh, significantly better all right um, friction wise it works now you do have these there's one here and there's one underneath where you adjust the uh, friction on it and my buddy tells me that he's had to adjust his a couple of times I've tried to make sure they do stress that you should keep them balanced the top and the bottom so they're about the same amount of uh, friction and so far it's been good uh, it has got a throttle on it, and I didn't bother using the thing. I just programmed it up, so that was the full range of motion because I didn't really care. Um, and mostly, obviously, now with the Apache coming out, I've been using it on the Apache. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I love the construction of it. Price-wise, what was it, about 500 bucks, so significantly cheaper than a Komodo. Uh, by what, less than, oh my goodness, just about half the price. So, anyway... I've been very impressed. Everything's worked well with it so far. You know, I have the other Verpal, which I use as my radar controller. All right, and then you might have just noticed as I swept through there that I now have a Wind Wing uh, F-16 throttle. Um, it's been good. Feels kind of realistic, actually. It's uh, well, was well made. Okay, and while it looks weird, all right, you have to use the finger lifts to get it into cutoff to shut the engine down. You know, and rotate it back to get it back out of cutoff. Uh, for Bernie, just lift it up and let it go. Friction-wise, I've I messed around with it a little bit. I've had it for about a, a month, so I've probably used it about ten times. So what do I think? Well, okay, some of the some of them, like like this one, right, is not bad, right? I don't notice if you look at it. I think it's a bit janky, you know, but it works. You know, and this antenna elevation works brilliant for the F-16, terrible for an F-18. I'm still getting used to the fact that this is where my dogfight switches. The um, speed brake works well. Uh, yeah, this is actually very nice. I do like this. The, the thumb radar cursor control is excellent. Uh, the manual range, I had to mess around with it. Eventually, I got it to work nicely. So it, it is playing nicely in DCS now. But as you can see, it just, you know, the top one's kind of, and then there's this four way here and a press, which is actually kind of extra. And then your uh, UHF VHF, which actually for the first time ever, I've bothered to program up so I can bring up the radio menu without having to mess around. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty good. So uh, then on the base, let's see. It's kind of weird split up. So you've got this, which is your F-16 stuff. So these are, and I've got them set up, as the uh, autopilot for the F-16. This is a cur uh, course and heading, and they work. They kind of load up the number of ticks the DCS takes a while. I could probably change that. I should probably look into their software. You've got to be careful with their software because it will load something into your lures that can give you spikes. There's plenty of information over it on the thing, and I just made my lure for, uh, in my bin uh, write only, so uh, a read only rather, so that it can't do it. I changed, this one is the master arm I use in the 16, and then this I've used as my gear. Um, the rest of this, I did mess around with them for the F14, uh, for the wing sweep. And then up here, I did load all these up. These are kind of your F18 ones, so you can read them as well as I can say them. But basically, everything's loaded up there, and it kind of works. You know, you this push is bringing out in and out your wing sweep not wing sweep, um, wing fold system. So 
Overall, it's worked very well. I've not had any problems with it. I didn't like the fact that these wires are kind of tight. All right. I mean, it's not too bad, I suppose. And they were actually buried inside the thing. So I actually ended up sending them a thing and they said, oh, you just got to pull the thing out. I was like, well, that's kind of weird, but it worked. So overall, I like it. Um, I'm actually, um, I will admit, I ordered the Winwing F18 one with finger lifts as well, just because I liked it better than the tin. And I kind of like having two throttles for some of the aircraft. Um, because it has the cable plug right at the front here, and I've only got two bolts holding it in position, one here and one here. It goes straight on a Thrustmaster plate. So this is my Verpil original Thrustmaster plate from the original, original old days. Um, works very well. So I'm going to get some wing nuts for the baser here and at the front. And that way it should be like a, um, a one minute changeover to swap between this and the F-18 version of the same thing. And I'll just program it up the same, just with the sticks being different. And that way I'll have the radar antenna control being a little bit better. Anyway, those are my updates. Everything else in my system. So the, the Verpil radar controller thing that I've been using works well. Still use my VKB on my, yeah, my MFGs. I had a little bit of an issue with them. Turned out I just need to unplug and plug it back in again, and that seemed to clear out some problem. Uh, so I didn't need a new board for it, which I was thinking I might need. And then after that, they started working properly again without any noise. And then, obviously, I've still got my Thrustmaster Warthog, so I've got a full F-16 setup when I want it. And then I have my 64 setup, which uses that and that. So overall, I've been very happy. Um, yeah, so that's about it, really. Uh, that's an update on all my gear. Komodo, no go. And uh, Verpil uh, Collective, yeah, pretty damn good. I'm pretty happy with it. All right. Uh, uh, the Orion from Winwing. I guess I says it all that I've ordered the other one. All right. To be brutally honest, I think it worked out as a postage was exactly the same, whether I per throttle whether I bought one or two so I bought this one to try it and then I have ordered the uh, F-18 one so that kind of says it all on what I think about it all right there you go if you have any questions obviously I'll answer in the comments all right cheers bye